Oh god, I really hope my phone doesn't fucking stop recording because for some reason it's been doing that and I don't know why. What's up, vets? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. <laughs> I always feel so weird doing intros. I don't know why. They're just so weird to me. Today, I'm doing a story time. This is the one and only other story I feel like is somewhat interesting. You guys asked me for story times and I straight up don't have any. This is pretty much the only one. Well, I've done a couple of other story times, so I guess this is the last one but anyways i rolled up a blunt this is the worst blunt i've ever rolled so i'm not gonna show you guys but i did i'll show you the very top i, I topped it off with the little kimmy tan dragon ears because it's just i don't know i just wanted to but yeah this is really the worst blunt i've ever rolled but i'm using the high hemp hubba bubba organic wraps these smell exactly like hubba bubble bubble gum i'm so fucking excited to smoke this fish so i'm gonna uh, just smoke a blunt and tell y'all a story time and yeah that's the plan for today <laughs> so let's just get right on into this story time like do you see how crooked that thing is Oh my god, this tastes so good. And I also got some Bruce Banner in here. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Wow. So, this story time. I guess it's kind of a story time about the one and only time I ever snuck out, but I didn't really, it wasn't sneaking out of my house and my parents didn't know. I just told my mom this story for the first time like two months ago, I think, because I knew if she knew about it when it happened, she would have killed my ass, so. I waited to tell her. But anyways, this story, it happened two years ago, almost now, on 420. Oh yeah, 420, baby. It's coming up again. So this happened almost two years ago. I was a senior in high school and I had just gotten out of a pretty shitty, like two year relationship, almost like two and a half, I think. It wasn't a good relationship, but you know what? It's high school, it is what it is. But I was kind of going through a hard time afterwards. So my ass, being all sad and everything, decided to get Tinder. Cause why not? Tinder's fun, I guess. And so I started, you know, just talking to people, trying to have a little hoe phase, but it wasn't really going well. I was just trying to flirt, you know? I was just having fun. I was just flirting, having fun. And I found this one guy, we're gonna call him Tony, Tony Hawk. Though this fucker was not nothing like Tony Hawk, no. But we're gonna call him Tony. Found Tony on Tinder and he wanted to meet up for coffee. And I was like, fuck yeah, let's meet up for coffee. We were talking on probably like the day before 420. So we met up for coffee the day of 420. And he picked me up from my grandparents' house. I was spending the night at my grandparents and he picked me up from there. And he just took, we went on a little drive. He took me to a coffee shop that was um, down by the waterfront in my town. It was nice. when you put a filter in and still get little surprises in your mouth. <laughs> but anyways, like honestly, the coffee date, like it was good. Like we vibed, it was a good time. I actually kind of knew of him because he graduated from my high school like two or three years before me. So I like, I kind of knew who he was, but I didn't really, I never talked to him before or anything. So we had our date and whatnot, we were talking about our 420 plans. He was talking about how he was probably just gonna hang out with some homies. I was like, oh, I'm gonna go hang out with my two girlfriends. They have an apartment and it's on the waterfront. It's really nice, it's such a vibe. And he was like, oh, do you think like my friends and I could maybe swoop by? We could all hang, like we could smoke and stuff for 420. And my ass being on like a coffee date with him was like, <gasps> Oh my god, maybe we could hang out later and then I could also smoke on 420. So kind of using him for weed, but I also like did want to like hang out with him more because I thought like he was like, he was nice, like he was cool and whatnot. And so I'm like, yeah, totally. Let me talk to my friends about it. I'm sure they'd be down. And he's like, cool. So the date went on. He drops me off at home. <coughs> Gosh, I'm already starting to cough. 
<coughs> he drops me off back at home. The day goes on and then I end up at my friend's apartment. And I tell them about my day and I present the idea to them that he wants to come over and hang out and bring his friends and stuff. And we can all just like have a little party, you know? And my friends were like, okay. Well, what is this guy like? What kind of friends is he gonna bring? Like, is he only gonna bring guy friends or is he gonna bring some girls? Like, they didn't want the ratio to be fucked up. They didn't want it to be like us three gals and then like six bros like waiting to bang or something. Like, we didn't really want that. So, we wanted to have a nice even ratio of girls and boys, you know, males and females. And I was like, yeah, let me talk to him. We'll figure it out. And they were like, and we also, cause they don't smoke. They were like, we don't give a fuck about 420, but we want alcohol and we want ciggies. Cause those fuckers used to smoke cigarettes. So they don't do that anymore. They vape now. <laughs> But those were their two things. They were like, their three things, I guess. They wanted an equal ratio of males and females, alcohol, and cigarettes. Like, those seem like pretty easy standards to me, you know? <coughs> <coughs> so I talked to him and he's like, oh yeah, we got girls coming. Like, it'll be fun. It'll be so fun. Got the alcohol, got the cigarettes. They just have to Venmo me and it'll be cool. And I'm like, oh, awesome. I can't wait. See you guys later. So we're going on through the night. My friends and I were just getting cute. I I guess we're drinking a little bit already, you know, just to have some fun. <coughs> I'm gonna put this out for a second and finish the rest in a bit because I'm starting to cough too much <coughs> and I want to be able to tell this. <coughs> okay, so what was I saying? Yes, we were drinking a little bit, but we weren't getting like wasted because I'm like a lightweight when it comes to alcohol too. So I wasn't trying to like get hammered or anything before this like guy that I thought was kind of cool was coming over and like his homies and stuff, which was kind of scary. So anyways, the night goes on and I think they call us around like nine, 10 at night. I don't know, it's hella late when they come. And so we're like, oh yeah, we'll go down and meet you guys because like the building's all locked up. So you have to meet people to bring them up. And so we went down there and we were waiting on the sidewalk and and then I see him in the distance. I'm like, oh, that's him. My friends, they're like, oh. And I look and I'm like, ah, uh, it's him, two guys, and one girl. Which was like fine, I guess, but he told us that like two girls were coming and then like one guy, would be, like I don't remember, but like we were just kind of like iffy about it, but like it was whatever. It was mainly like my friends, like they, especially just cause they didn't know who these people were at all. They were like, ah, uh, okay. So we meet up and they're like, you guys want to smoke before we go back up? And we're like, yeah, because we can't smoke in the apartment. So we should probably do that now. Got two girlfriends here. Let's take a pause. Two girlfriends who live at the apartment. Let's call them Natalia and Susanna. There you go. Natalia was walking their dog, Ben. Ben is massive. He's insane. A huge dog. <laughs> she was walking Ben and she was like, well, I don't want Ben to be around the smoke and I don't even smoke at all. So I'm just gonna walk Ben and I'll just meet you guys. And Susanna was like, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go with them and maybe smoke. I'll think about it. And so, like I said earlier, my friends live on the waterfront. I don't remember if I said that actually, but my friends live on the waterfront and so they have a little Little, there's a little dock by their apartment building that you can go down to and so we decided my mom just started taking a shower great <laughs> it's fine so we decided to go down to the dock to smoke and it's uh me tony Susanna, his two homies and that girl and um the homies they're fine i guess i don't know Susanna and natalia they were not fans you know they were not about them not at all and so anyways we go down to the dock to smoke and <laughs> he pulls out like a bag of weed and like a little pipe and we just start passing the pipe around i remember and I remembered I didn't want to get too high because the month before that, or yeah, like a month or two before that, I had gotten green sick. And I've done a story time on that when I got green sick. So go watch that video. I had gotten green sick. So I was like trying to pace myself and not get too high or anything. And now that I'm thinking about it, I can't remember if it was a pipe or a blunt or something, but it, it was something. We were passing something around getting stoned. And I remember Susanna didn't smoke. She was just chilling. She's like, I'm good. But then she was like, you got our cigarettes? And he was like, oh yeah. 
here you go he had the ciggies and it was lit and everything and so we were just chilling and whatnot i'm probably gonna forget parts of this story i'm sure suzanne and natalia remember it a lot better than me because i yeah, I was really stoned. I was like crossed almost the whole night, so I don't really remember it, honestly. But anyways, I believe we finished smoking and then we went off the dock, went back up to where the apartments were, met up with Natalia. And so then we went up to their room, to their crib. Uh. <coughs> uh, my allergies have been bugging me today. Anyways, we went up to their crib and we just all chilled in the living room and stuff. And Susanna, or Natalia, no Natalia, she's like, I want to put on some tunes. Like, what do you guys want to listen to? And they did off a bunch of shit. Like, these kids were more like in like rap, like Black Bear, G Easy. I don't know. I can't think of any other people right now. I just can think of those people for some reason. So random. But then Susanna and Natalia, they like like old shit. They like like David Bowie and they don't like queen but that kind of music <laughs> and um so he's like so how about some david bowie and he was like who's david bowie one of his homies tony's homies he said who's david bowie and um natalia did not find that funny at all no she was not amused because she was already just pissed off just because she could tell she wasn't gonna vibe with these people they were douchebags like they honestly were not nice tony was not nice no his friends they were not nice either the girl, she was honestly pretty nice, but like, yeah, Tony's friends, they weren't really that nice. Like, one of them was, but then the other one was like, kind of like, just weird and giving off like, super judgmental vibes. I wish I remembered their names so I could make up nicknames for them. I guess I could make up nicknames for them anyways, but like, I don't know. But yeah, they weren't that nice, honestly. But anyways, oh, I forgot to mention, they didn't bring alcohol. Wow, I'm back and I have a different look. <laughs> um, my phone stopped recording like I thought it would and it literally took me for fucking ever to airdrop shit to my AirPod or my AirPod? No, to my laptop and like delete it off my phone and whatnot. But I got it. I'm here. When I was trying to do that, um, I had a lot of downtime. So I straightened my hair and fixed it because I have to go to a baby shower in like an hour. So yeah, I'm going to finish the story time. I believe I left off by saying they didn't bring alcohol which I forgot to mention um, from the beginning. They didn't bring alcohol like they promised, so Susanna and Natalia were fucking pissed because they wanted to drink. Like, they didn't want to deal with a bunch of stoners and be all sober and not, like, be able to drink or anything. So... They were pissed about that. Susanna was putting in a pizza that I brought over for us to eat and we were just all hanging out and stuff. And then Susanna and Natalia just disappeared. I don't remember where they went exactly, but they were just gone. And it was just me, Tony and his homies. And I was like, okay, it's fine. I'm kind of stoned. I can do this. I just need to vibe and be cool. It's fine. Cause I get, I get anxious. I was kind of scared. Anyways, one of Tony's friends um, went on to Natalia's laptop and started to try to find something to watch because their laptop was like connected to their TV. And so he started to like try to find something to watch and I don't remember what he put it on. He put it on some like rom-com on 420 like what why would you do that i can't remember why i can't even remember what the movie was but then italian and suzanne eventually came back i still don't remember where they went they came back and they were like so no alcohol wow and tony was like well i have some shots and they were like oh and he pulled out like the little bottles you know like you can get of alcohol and he literally only had two and guess who fucking Tony gave them to? He gave them to me, and he gave them to the other girl that was there, his friend. <laughs> yeah. This story probably sucks, I'm sorry, but it's the only thing I got. But anyways, that right there, red flag. Like, Tony's trying to get the girl he's hanging out with wasted, and then, like, the other hot girl that's there wasted, and then he's telling my friends to just fuck off. So, wow, like, that was not nice. And so then Natalia and Susanna disappeared again, and then the pizza was done. And so we ate some pizza and stuff, and then Tony's friends started giving Ben, Natalia and Susanna's dog, pizza crust. <laughs> 
Ben can't eat human food. It's not good for his tummy. It makes him have tummy aches. I didn't know that at the time. <laughs> so that wasn't good. And we ended up eating all the pizza. Suzanne and Natalia didn't get any, which she felt bad about. Oops, but what are you gonna do about it? I'm so sorry, Natalia and Susanna. My blunt's gone. <laughs> that was nice. But anyways, so yeah, they ate all the pizza and then Tony and his friends were like, yeah, we think we're gonna go. Like, we're just gonna go to, I don't remember his friend's place, but they were gonna go to one of the homies' places. He had like an apartment and they were gonna go hang out there because he had alcohol and more weed and whatnot. And they just weren't vibing with Natalia and Susanna, but like Natalia and Susanna weren't vibing with them, so it was chill. But I wanted to keep hanging out with them. Like I was trying be cool and I wanted to keep hanging out with him too like I wanted to be like a cool person I don't know what I was trying to do I was trying to be hip and so I was like well could I possibly like come with you guys and he's like yeah like sure like you can totally come with I can just bring you back in the morning and I was like oh in the morning uh Okay, and so I got up and we started walking out the door and I went into um, Natalia's room, I believe, because that's where they both were. And I was like, hey, could I have the keys to get back up? I'm gonna let them out, they're gonna head out and I'll be up in a little bit. And they were like, yeah, do you need us to come down with you? And I was like, no, I'm fine. Like, I'll be up in a little bit. And they were like, okay. So they gave me their keys and we headed down. We hopped into, there was two different cars. I hopped into a car with Tony and his friend whose apartment we were we're going to and then I just sat in the back and at this point it was probably like midnight I think and I remember I turned off my data I turned off my location like I turned off everything because my mom used to well my mom still has my location I don't give a fuck anymore because I can I don't care if my mom has my location <laughs> but when I was um doing this I did not know, want my mom to know where the fuck I was because I no that's so bad my mom didn't even know I was hanging out with this person <laughs> and so I just headed out and I I remember uh, cruising down the freeway and gazing out the window like I was in some early 2000s teen movie and I just remember thinking, holy shit, what have I done? <laughs> I started to get a little anxious, I'm not gonna lie, I started freaking out a little bit. I was like, oh great, oh great, this is not good, this isn't good. We get to the homies place and whatnot and I get inside and the girl is there, it's just me and the girl because the homies are outside for some reason. All the guys were outside they were talking about something it's kind of sus now that i think about it but it was just me and the girl in there and it clicked in my head i didn't have anything with me i didn't bring my bag um i had my phone i had my phone and my jewel those were my priorities at that moment and this was really bad because i was on my period <laughs> yeah i was on my period and i needed a tampon i needed a tampon real bad and i was like hey girl do you have a tampon like i'm on my period and i literally did bring shit with me like i'm stone kind of a little tipsy i did not prepare for this she she's like no i'm so sorry i don't but like my car is here like i can totally take you to get some i was like oh you're so nice and she's like yeah i'll just tell them that like we're gonna go get coffee or something and i'm like yeah at midnight let's go get coffee and so we actually yeah she took me to go get tampons it was really lit um oh wait, i have to sneeze <coughs> Um, I was supposed to Venmo her back for my fucking tampons and I didn't. I feel bad still to this day, but it's whatever. She probably, hopefully she doesn't remember. And they were like two bucks. It's fine. Because we literally went to like the gas station to get them because nothing was open. We had to go to the gas station to get tampons. It was rough. But anyways, went back, took care of that. Everything was good. And so for the rest of the night, we just hung out. Um, I remember we watched Vines. Um, I drank a little bit of wine, but not really. Because I just don't like drinking, especially when I'm stoned. Like I was trying trying really hard to not like get sick or anything. So I was just trying to take it easy. I took like a couple of sips of wine or something. And I just hung out with Tony on the couch and stuff. And probably like an hour after I left, Susanna and Natalia started blowing my phone up. It was probably sooner than that, honestly, but they started blowing my phone up. They were like, Jackie, where are you? Like, we're so sorry. Like, please come back. We're sorry for being mean to your friends. Like, cause apparently, like, I don't know. <laughs> they felt bad, I guess. 
guess they thought I was mad at them or something and they were offering to make me pancakes and stuff when I came back. They felt bad for some reason. I don't really remember why, but <laughs> I was just like, I'm fine. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. I was just being so vague. I was just like, just don't worry, it's, I'm good. And so Tony and I, we were just hanging out and stuff and then everyone started going to bed and I was like, oh, okay, I guess it's bedtime. And so Tony and I were like on the couch and we were like just snoozing off and he was like, actually now I can't remember. Yeah, he definitely did recommend this. Ugh. I cannot, <laughs> ew, now that I'm like retelling this story, I cannot believe I did this to myself, why? I don't know, I just, I thought it was cool. But anyways, he was like, let's go into the bedroom. Like we can go lay in my friend's bed. And I was like, doesn't he wanna lay in his own bed? He's literally laying on the floor in his living room. He was like, no, he's fine. And I was like, okay. So we go in there and we're just, chilling and whatnot and he starts trying to like and I like I don't know like I guess I was probably giving off the vibes that I wasn't like trying to do anything at all just because no and also I was on my period like nah but also like we made out a little bit, not gonna lie. Sorry, mom, don't watch this, mom. We made out a little bit, but yeah, that's it. And so we eventually did go to bed, but I literally got like two hours of sleep. I barely got any sleep at all. And so woke up the next morning and I was like, yeah, I gotta get back to my friend's house. And um, <laughs> to make it even better, it was Easter Sunday. Yeah, I was trying to be a wannabe whore, I guess. I don't know. I was trying to have a hoe phase, but like that's just not really for me, so. <laughs> but anyways, I was like, yeah, I gotta get back to my friend's house. So he's like, okay, I'll drive you back. We gotta go to my house first, pick up my car, and then I'll drive you back to your friend's apartment. And I was like, oh God, okay. Because his friend lived probably like 20 minutes away from my friend's apartment. But then he lived another like 20 minutes away from his friend. He lived closer to my house. So I was like, oh shit, okay. So we drive to his house for 20 minutes. We get there get in his car and then we start driving to my friend's apartment, which then he lived about like half half an hour from my friends. So I was like, oh God. so on the way there, the ride is cool and everything, we're vibing. And then my mom calls me. And I'm like, my mom's calling, my mom's calling me. And this fucker has the loudest car in the whole entire world. I'm like, oh God, she's gonna know my life's over. Like I can't. He starts like driving like literally five miles per hour. So his car like isn't making any noise. And I pick up and I try to act super sleepy. I'm like, Hi. And she's like, hi, good morning. And I'm like, hi. she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm so sleeping. And she was like, oh, okay, call me when you wake up. And I was like, okay. And then she was like, love you. It's like, love you too. And I got out of it. I don't know how that happened, but I got out of that. So that was so epic. So then fast forward, car ride keeps going on. He drops me off my friend's house. I go up to their apartment. I'm thinking everything's gonna be cool. I'm sure like they're a little worried cause I stopped talking to them around like 3 a.m. and just said, I'll be back soon. And so get up there and I walk in and I say, I can't believe I and um, I go into the living room and they're both sitting there staring at me, arms crossed. These bitches, they're like older than me, like by a year. So they're like my moms, right? These bitches railed me in the ass so hard with their words on Easter Sunday. Like they did the job that my mom would have done. Like I knew that I was really dumb and everything, but they really just implanted it in my brain that I was um so fucking stupid and I should not have done that because a lot of bad things could have happened. And like, obviously they were right because Tony wasn't even worth it. Like, ugh, he was ugh, not that, no. And yeah, we didn't even, we ended up talking for like two more weeks and then that was the end of that. And then like a couple of months on Twitter, a bunch of girls came out with like, a, it was like a long ass Twitter thread about how Tony like did a bunch of like essay and a bunch of shit to them, which is just terrible. So, so glad I stopped talking to that fucker. So bad at telling story times, especially because I'm like stony baloney. I'm like stumbling over my words and I'm and I'm not really making any sense. And my mom's blow drying her hair. Oh, you guys can hear it. I know you guys can, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm sure this 
story time was not interesting at all. It's literally just all I had. I'm so sorry. I literally don't have any other story times that I can think of. Like maybe stuff will happen as life goes on, but it is what it is. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. I hope y'all liked it a little bit. I don't know if you did. Ooh, you could maybe give it a thumbs up or something. I don't know. I love you, bud. Stay safe. Make good choices. Bye.